Hello, all of my favorite prospecting connoisseurs. It is Patrick from Clay here, back with another banger. And this video is going to be a little bit different than our normal tutorial or case study videos. Today, what we're going to do is a bit of a challenge. And that challenge is to write 1,000 highly personalized emails in 10 minutes. The reason I decided to do 10 minutes is because that's how long, in my estimation, it would take to write an email this complex for one company manually. So I wanted to show you that by using Clay, you could 1000x your productivity and write the same emails at scale for as many companies as you'd like. The only rule in this challenge is that I can stop my clock for whenever any of my integrations are running or loading because it's technically not really a skill issue. It's kind of just my Wi-Fi not being that good. But otherwise, I'm going to keep the clock running the whole time. I'm going to write the emails out. I'm going to enrich the companies. I'm going to personalize the emails all within that 10 minutes, ideally, if I can achieve this. And then you're going to see all of it. And hopefully you can get some insights from it. And without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to get into this challenge here. I'm going to put a little timer up somewhere so you can see that I'm not cheating. I don't know why I would, but just to make sure. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so I'm going to start here. I assume I'm going to go to people and LinkedIn. And I'm going to just try to find a job title that there's going to be a lot of. Because again, I have to write 1,000 emails. So I'm just going to look for a manager that lives in New York City. And let's hope that there are a lot of people loading here. All right, and there's 5,000 people. We're going to import them to our table here. And let's get started Okay, so we have 5,000 companies here. As you can see, the company domain is only present for some of the companies, but we need that to run our work email integration. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to filter out the ones that don't have the company domain, and boom. Now we only have ones that contain their website. Next, what I'm going to do is go to Enrichments, and I'm going to use a waterfall. This is going to provide the most data coverage for me when finding these work emails. So I'm going to use as many providers as I possibly can for max coverage. Then we're going to throw in their personal LinkedIn profile, their first name, and their company domain, which is right here. And sure, we'll throw in a validation provider as well, and we're going to run it. All right, so as you can see here, we've got some emails. I trusted on the first 10 names. We're going to run it for 5,000. So I will see you whenever that is done loading. All right, so we have finished enriching these emails. So we're going to see just how many people we've got here by going to the validated work email, filtering it by not empty. And, oh, that's tragic. Okay, we need 30 more emails. All right, I'm going to create another table really quickly. Let me go home. I'll throw in like 100 people. That should be enough to get us what we need. Um, we're going to get managers. And they're going to be, this time, in Philadelphia. Oh. And then we're going to limit results, so we'll do like 150 people. It doesn't really matter. So we've got our people here. We're going to import them to the table. All right, now that they're in the table, we're going to filter out anybody who doesn't have a company domain, per usual. Nothing you haven't seen. We've got 84 people. Now we're going to do a work email waterfall on them, same as we did last time. And let's hope it returns us 30 more emails so we can start churning these puppies out. Ready, the integration's done. Let's see if we've got 30 more emails. We can only hope that is the case. And um, 36, let's go, absolutely huge. Okay, I'm gonna copy these really quickly if that's possible. I don't even know if I know how to do this. Um, oh, what I'll do is I'll download this as a CSV. All right, and now that it's downloaded, all I gotta do is go back to my original table, which should be right down here. Have quite a few tables as you can probably see. Oh, that's the wrong one. Which one is it? Is it? It's gotta be this one, right? Okay, huge. And then we're just gonna drag this, download the CSV really quickly, and then go to our table here. And then all we have to do is click Add Data, Other, and then slide the CSV here. That should add us our additional emails. And boom, we now have 1,000 rows in our table. What are we gonna do next? Well, it hasn't updated, but in theory, it should have that. 
994. What's going on? Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Okay. Perfect. 1,006 rows. All right. So now that we have all of these emails, what we're going to do is enrich the person associated with them. And the reason we're doing that is because I need to find more information about their company. And the only way in which I can do that is by enriching the person. So all we got to do is add their LinkedIn profile here and run it. And it should give us more information on these people. And I will get back to you when this integration is done. All right, so that finished running, and now we can go right into their profiles here, go down to their latest experience, and find, oh, here we go, and map out the company LinkedIn URL. Boom. Now that we've got that, we can go to Enrich Company, and we just throw that LinkedIn URL right there. And run it, and I'll get back to you when this is done. Alrighty, now that we have the company info, we can go on to OpenAI here, and we're going to use ChatGPT to write us a little bit of a script. I'm going to put, I'm the head of an organic marketing agency. I want to onboard, maybe I should say, I want to bring on as a client, give me, say, based on their company description, give me three ways that organic marketing could increase. Actually, we'll do, give me three creative or organic marketing ideas that I can pitch to company name. Say format it in a bulleted uh, format in the bulleted list. Keep each bullet short, like a short sentence at most, and we'll test this out and see what happens. So literally, as I re ran the integration, I forgot that I didn't even put in the description. So we'll say here's the description. And then we'll throw the description in right here. Should be right around here somewhere. There we go. Cool. All right, we'll run it. All right, so the first few look good. Just a little bulleted list of three different things that they could do to improve their organic marketing. So we're going to run it for the entire 1,006 rows. All right, and boom, we have a list of a bunch of recommendations for a bunch of companies. And so what we're going to do next is structure the email campaign. So I'm going to download this table here and we're going to get to the next step in instantly. Okay, so I actually just realized I forgot to add a column here. So what I have to do is find this person's first name um, and I have to isolate that from their entire name to include in the email copy. You don't want to use their full name to address them, but it's super easy. All you have to use the, uses the AI formula generator. So what I'm going to do is just say remove, we'll say print the first word of and then you just throw in their name and generate the formula this pretty much works every time because unless somebody has a two-part first name you are pretty much good um but yeah looks good to me cool save formula and now that we have their first names all i gotta do is download this once again and we will get started on the email campaign okay so we're in instantly now and we're going to create our email campaign to start sending these thousand emails out all I'm going to do here is add a new campaign. We'll call it play 1000 email test. And all we got to do is add our leads here. So I'm just going to import this CSV that we downloaded from Clay. We have the company name right here. We're not going to use this as the email. We're going to go scroll down right here and use this. And then we have their first name right here. And then we have their personalization variable right here. And that should just about do it. And we will upload all of them. Thank goodness we have 1,001 contacts. Can still not say it's clickbait. Upload. And here we are. So I'm going to start out something with, with a subject line here. I'm going to do something pretty simple. We'll just do company name, organic growth initiatives. And then we'll throw in their first name. 
say was just checking out the company name's website and had a few ideas as to how you could improve your search traffic. And then we'll throw this little response in right here. And then after that, we can do something along the lines of uh, my agency packs organic growth to 5x your monthly traffic leading to more sales for company name. Does it make sense to chat? Faster. And then boom, we just have to save it. Oh, I'll do my full name and company here. Probably makes sense. All right, so let's just quickly check out what this email looks like if you were actually to send it. So we have Michael, I was just checking out company name's website had a few ideas as to how much you how you can improve your search traffic and then we have our three little bullet points right here financial literacy workshops engaging localized seo a social media campaign my agency or hacks organic growth to five extra monthly traffic leading more sales for the company name doesn't make sense to chat looks good to me then boom you just have to save it you can obviously a b test different variants add different steps make it a real email campaign but all I said I had to do was send 1,000 emails. And hopefully, I haven't chopped this up or edited it yet, like to, to exclude the loading stuff. So hopefully, it's ended up being 10 minutes. And um, I guess you'll see if it's posted or not, whether it has been. Um, so yeah, I really hope this was helpful to you. It kind of goes to show how incredibly powerful Clay's automation systems are. It will save you hours upon hours upon hours of time. If you had to write 1,000 emails out like this on your own without AI, it would easily take days if not weeks a thousand of these like it would probably take at least what 10 minutes a piece to create each one of these different creative customizations so in my opinion it's a no-brainer clay is unbelievable i still can't believe this exists and i hope it inspires you a bit to hack your email outbound and uh yeah hopefully this helps happy prospecting have a good one i just finished editing this and i have to say i hit exactly 10 minutes I mean, it couldn't have gotten any closer than that. Like, man, I'm so glad that that lined up because otherwise I would have been pretty bummed. So anyway, have a good one, y'all.